isn't hardware stores necessary necessity a necessity i can't speak english so good i am persian i am coming from a land far away it's so difficult speaking the language of my country i live in oh come on <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today we're trying to figure out what to do to keep us busy and the husband suggested we finally put up these geometric um, I don't even know what you would call it uh, wiring decor for the wall um, I've had it for probably three years maybe four who knows purchased them in a quick uh you know heat of love i fell in love with them and i was like i need these in my life and like a lot of things they sat in the box in the basement and if you saw my last uh video i cleared out and cleaned up my craft room found them and now the husband won't let it go so here they are super cute i love them some of them come with um lanterns i guess uh you could you know maybe put some flowers or fake plants whatever you want pretty cute stuff um just need to figure out where do they go what do we do so here's what i was thinking i have this massive wall up here and it's empty and we can't have empty walls in this house. So I was thinking, maybe we could put it there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, folks, so this is what it's gonna look like. We taped it up with some painter's tape just to give us an idea. And now we're just going to uh, permanently fixture them up. Just putting a dot right here, indicate where it's gonna be, and then it'll naturally hang. Now just put a hole for the drywall anchor. You can drill this out if you prefer. And these came with it. They kind of have like a little screw on cap, like so, so that you can kind of insert the screw without damaging this. I've been just using a little piece of paper towel over this so that I don't ruin the threads. You can see where the thinner threads come to the thicker threads, you want to go all the way to those thin threads so that gets pretty flush to the wall, like so. And then you take this, screw it on by hand a bit, and then do one last little tighten. And there you have it. You can just boom it like that. Add your little voila. Voila! You're so good at this. Beauty. Good job, babe. Snap 
snap on. There's a couple ways you can put this on. You can just put the sticky things on here, but then you have trouble trying to like line them up. Yeah. So you just snap all these on roughly, you know, center where you'd want them. And then I add the sticky things to it. And then I just put it all up in one together piece all the way. So I found these on Amazon and um, I'll put some links down below for you guys if you were interested um, to go buy them for yourselves and decorate your beautiful bare walls with some minimalistic, artistic pizzazz. Is that how you say it? Hey, I'm sold. Boom! Um, Sounds they're... like you're making, making uh, royalties off of Umbra. Nope. Not getting any commission off of anything, pretty much anything that I do on YouTube yet. <laughs> so make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Maybe even share it with someone. Tell them how great and exciting this channel is because it's so much fun. I just love rose gold so effing much. And I wanted something that I could put on some some uh, a bare wall such as this massive wall space that we have without having to make it look cluttered or bulky and I figured that having um, something like this where it's like a wired look and kind of gives it that dimension and um, you know it, it's just so cute and it's so bougie I don't know I like it let me know how you feel about it down below um, and uh, we're thinking possibly putting either fake greenery coming out of some of them or even possibly buying actual succulents succulents and um, or maybe I don't know some sort of plant yeah, yeah, like I would want it to like hang off of some of them, especially the ones that have um, actual clay pots in them. That would be cute. Um, what would be some of your suggestions? What can I do to make it a little bit more lively? I don't know, like me and Simon love greenery. We just like to incorporate it everywhere. So that's where I'm aiming. But if you have any suggestions on what we could put in there instead, uh, please, I'm open to all sorts of comments and suggestions just to get a better idea. And, and I tend to always regret what I do. So I'd like to have all my options on the table before I make a decision and then regret that I didn't do something else. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. She's open to suggestions. Nobody's talking to you. With all the, uh, the, the loosening of the restrictions and stores being open soon, uh, I was excited because I need to get my freaking hair done and get my roots done. So I called up my mom, who's a hairdresser, and I was like, yo, <laughs> we might be seeing you soon at the hair salon. And then she was like, I don't know, I think I'm gonna retire. And then you said, newsflash, you're my mother, you can't retire from that. Like, you can't just freaking decide it's over. Well, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I can't, you can't set me up for 39 years of getting free hair shit done and then decide, no, I'm done. Thanks. Moving to Florida. Cause that's what all freaking retired old moms do. <laughs> and then she's going to what, what am I going to do? Go get my hair paid for. Like I can't do this. I can't live my life like this. Okay, so these are my problems in quarantine. Stress is a high for me. <laughs> Knowing that there's a huge possibility my mom is going to be retired. So, um, I have to make new friends. What do you mean? Uh, How does that relate to your mother? Well, because I need to find friends who are hairdressers that don't live in Halifax that could do my hair for free. Like I would tip, I tip really well. Well, I'd just like to say that my mom's a hairdresser, a color technician, if you will. And? <laughs> what are you trying to say? She'll, well, do, she'll do my hair for me? Yeah. 
Carrie, are you gonna do my hair for me when my mom retires and moves to Florida? <laughs> That's what Simon said. <laughs> I've been wanting to do TikToks, but I've chosen to just watch them instead for a while. <laughs> mom, stop TikToking. I've been wanting to do TikToks for like five months, but I'm just a lazy ass, as we've determined. And I prefer just sitting there and watching them, so. My sister-in-law, she's addicted in the nicest way possible to TikTok, and she's taking full advantage of her creativity slash got, a, got nowhere else to be scenario and like pumping out like 20 TikToks in an hour. Oh. And I'm like here sitting like, hmm, that'd be a cool TikTok to do. Save it for later. I've been doing that for like five months. Cause that's how I do I have the biggest to-do list of life. <laughs> like my to-do list could literally make quarantine very, very pleasurable and productive, but I still choose to do the first thing on my to-do list is finish Netflix. So. You know what they say, this is next level. <laughs> that one's a good one, you gotta keep that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> well there you have it folks all done it looks beautiful so pretty so so pretty so, these are little ones that have like a clay pot on them you could put greenery or flowers or whatever you want and my wall is done. It looks great. I don't know how to get it so that you see all of it. So here is a good shot. It looks beautiful. And uh, yeah, like I said, leave some comments down below on what your suggestions are. Should I keep them as is? Or should I add some greenery, succulents, or flowers? What, what would you suggest? Let me know. How do you like it? And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Mwah.